Okay. So uh, now we'll see the email task. So what is uh, email task? Why we are using the email task in Informatica? So now we'll see. Okay. So as we know that if any mapping, so after completion of that mapping, so what we need to do? We need to create the workflows with the session. Okay. So like this, right? So start button is there. And uh, but suppose uh, this is my session. I'm, I'm going to connect this with the link. Then, so uh, what, what I'm going to do now, so I'm going to run this session. So if this succeeds, it means uh, it's uh, no problem. There is no problem if this succeeded. So what happened if this session gets failed? How this notification will get the people who are leading this? Okay. So that is the problem. To achieve this problem, we can use the email task. Okay. So I'm again ex explaining here. So if I start the session, if I start the session, so it is running successfully and uh, completed successfully means there is no problem. If the session is failed at any cost, at any any reason, any time, so immediately the people who are dealing this, so they they uh, get some notification. Okay, so in the form of alert. So for that purpose, we are going to use the email task. Okay, so let's uh, for suppose I'm I'm taking the email task. Okay, so what I'm going to do means I need to connect this email task from the session. Okay, so this is email task. Email task. So to configure this email task, what and all we need to do means so we need to give the email emails of email ids of total team if for example we have uh, four people we need to give four people email ids and we need to give email id and we need to give the subject and also we need to give some information about the failure task we need to give some text. Okay. This and all we need to give in the email task. Okay. So this task can be configured to send the emails to one or more or three or four multiple recipients. So with attachments and dynamic content. So where we need to write the dynamic content means here. Here we can write the dynamic content dynamic content okay yes and this email task can be used to use to send the notification or alerts based on the outcomes of the workflow or data transformation so based on this based on this workflow or transformation so this email task will notify to the team so if this success means there is no problem if this session failed if this session failed in between means so this email task sends the notification to the team and they will know, they will get to know what is the problem and they will go to resolve. So that is the use of email task. Okay. So here, so start is there and session is there. And so if this uh, session is succeeded, then there is no problem. 
as usual. Okay. If it is failed, means I need to get some notification through the email. Okay. So for this, uh, for this, I'm going to connect this session to the email. Okay. So just uh, double click on the email and go to properties and email username. So we need to give you need to give uh, three or four email IDs in uh, as for the team. Like uh, if the team size is three, we can give the three members. And uh, if the team size is four, we can give the four email IDs. So likewise. So here we need to give the email IDs of the team members and email subject. So subject means the session guard file, so on so on, uh, session guard file like that, we need to give some uh, subject and email text. So this email text uh, means we can give uh, in the form of uh, in the form of what uh, dynamic content. So how can we give the dynamic content means like this? So like this writing the session percentages guard file and percentage key server by the user percentage view using services percentage D under the folder folder percentage and please find the attachments attach block percentage D so likewise we can uh, likewise we can give okay so likewise we can give so it will uh, show the particular session that particular name of the uh, name of the field and the name of the user so it will show in detail if you are giving this a dynamic uh, content so we will get uh, some in detail view so where the failure occurs exactly okay so i'm not going to run this one email task why because uh, uh, if you are using this email task we need to give some uh, extra configurations like smtp connections on the uh, on the uh, on connections and configurations we need so for that i'm not uh, uh, what it is running this flow okay so hope you clear this email task so why we are using the email task Okay, thank you.